Hey -o. So I do a bit of a, a, a redo of one of the Just Be Yourself videos that I did a while ago. Since a few things with some people have come up and I've noticed there's a bit of stuff going on. Especially after Pride and quite a few of other things. So um, following on from one of the previous videos where I said just be yourself. So I will just be going over a couple of little things. Hopefully I don't ramble too much for you guys. Obviously, got to have the, uh, for fuck's sake, mug. There isn't a lot of tea left in that, so, um, but hey. Just, the main thing is literally just the kind of, like, just be yourself sort of thing. And, like, you know, you don't always have to abide by the so-called social norms and stuff. You know, it's like, if you get up in the morning and you're not feeling like, putting makeup on and all that lot you don't have to put makeup on you don't have to stick the face on you don't have to do all of that stuff sorry about the chirping that's just because I've got messages coming in because of a group chat that I'm in um but you don't have to kind of you know keep all of that going just because someone says you know you don't have to do that if you don't feel like wearing a dress don't wear a dress if you don't feel like having a shave don't have a shave if you just feel like on a day off instead of going out going shopping or whatever and you just want to stay in your comfy little cocoon and you want to you know I mean you want to eat chocolate and you want to eat bags of crisps and stuff go for it no one no no one's going to have a go at you just because you're not showing what people think you know being trans, going from male to female or female to male, it isn't all about, especially a lot of the other stuff, it's not all about kind of like, you know, pink fluffy stuff and unicorns and all sorts of other stuff. It's not all about that. If you've always loved watching football or rugby, you don't have to stop just because you're swapping from one side to the other. You know, you don't have to do that. If you love getting down and dirty and covered in oil and messing with engines and you love getting covered in mud, you don't have to stop just because you're doing something different. That's not how it works. And some people on the outside really believe that, you know. It's like, seriously, if I feel like it, like... I could go through, you know, all of that in no time. And trust me, I would. I would munch all of that if I was in the mood to, but that's just me. You know, I'll always wear random stuff. I'll always spend my money on stuff. I'll always play video games because that's just me. That's how I am. That's how I've always been. So I ain't going to stop. Why should I stop? Because that's me. That's who I am. So just because, oh no, but you're doing this, you're doing that. Oh, that's not going. And like it really matters. It's same with you guys who are coming from being female. You don't have to push a hyper masculine thing if you're not interested in sport you don't have to be interested in sport you know you don't have to go beer yeah football rah! you don't have to be kind of big bad strong man rah! you don't have to do that that isn't how it works and i know social norms and some people out there will always push about it and stuff that's that's their problem that's their malfunction you can educate them and educate them and educate them as much as you want. Some of them aren't going to listen or they just won't understand. You don't have to do that. You know, you can still be yourself. You can still be the person that is inside who has always been there and still be kind of like, you know, the person that isn't interested in sport, that doesn't like beer, that doesn't like going to the gym. That isn't going to be all of that. Same with you girls. 
you don't have to wear makeup you don't have to wear the dresses you don't have to have the heels you don't have to do all of the pretty princess stuff just because someone says that you have to doesn't mean that you do you are you you are the only you and you are the individual you are the true you of yourself and that is how that works you know i'm always probably going to be more in my comfort zone of wearing leathers and goth stuff and playing video games and liking rugby and you know drinking heavy beer that's just me but i'm still gonna be a girly girl at the same time i'm still gonna like having my nails done every now and then i'll probably get my hair done you know i'm still gonna do girly stuff but i'm gonna do it in my own way i know girls who are natural born girls who are more man than most men that i know and they are a girly girl at the same time as being absolute uber man People are natural in their own way. Doesn't matter. You're natural to yourself. So there's always going to be that. As long as you take care of yourself, and you take care of your mental health. And if you need any help, you talk to people and you get the help that is required. If you're struggling with something, talk to family members that understand. Talk to friends that understand. If you don't have anyone that fully understands... There's always going to be people out there to help you. There's, out, there's programs and places out there where you could literally just have a drop-in session and go and talk to them without having to sign up for a counsellor. You know, you could probably... You, you, some of your work colleagues, someone who's quiet in the corner, they could possibly be the best person that you've ever met. They could be the person that you need in that day. You know, the person that makes you laugh, that you always have a giggle with. That random that's in once or twice. You know, the part-timer. You know, even the, just, even the person that you talk to in one of the places that you go. The barmaid, whoever. You know, anyone on the bar staff. The person in the petrol station. Sometimes it happens... In a snap, you could just find someone who you could just have a little laugh to, and that little moment of laugh could lift your day. So you don't always have to feel like you're out there if you're struggling. Because you're not all alone. There are going to be people that will understand you and help you. So, my thing for today is don't worry. Don't put yourself into the ground. Don't run yourself into the ground. If you're having a moment where where the dysphoria is taking over and you're able to kick back relax do that if it means having a nap in the middle of the day go have a nap if it means shutting the world out whilst you have a bath so you have your music going and you your candles and your incense and you've got a nice hot bath Run yourself a nice hot bath and get in that bath. You will love it. It will relax you. If it means putting music on for a little bit and singing whilst you're crying, go for it. Go do it. Slap that over. Nothing's, no one's going to, you know, no one's going to hate you for doing that. If it means that you put cheesy movies on and you, you watch stuff like Jackass or whatever, you know, go do it. That time is for you and that moment is for you. You will come out the other side and you will be better. I know it. I've been down to the pits of hell and back. I've done things and been places and had to make decisions in life that I should never have had to have made in my younger years. You know, I've saved people's lives just by thinking something. I've sacrificed things for my future by doing decisions that I've had to do in the spare of the moment. You know, I saved my ex-partner's life just by turning around and talking to a doctor and going, what is the most logical option? Which one's the best option for the future? And it was the worst possible option to do, but I did it. You know, I, I went down that path. I've walked down that path. 
I take that decision with me and I carry that baggage with me at all times. I know that that decision has made an impact on my life, but it saved other people's lives along the way. It's the same thing as <clears throat> someone was having a heart attack and I've literally stayed there doing chest compressions because they were unconscious. They collapsed unconscious. And I've done chest compressions and I have literally run myself into the ground by doing those chest compressions. You know, I could not stop because if I stopped doing chest compressions, that person would not have been alive. And I did those chest compressions for over half an hour. I was, I was exhausted. You know, the medics that came to literally stop me from just running myself through the floor had to administer first aid to me because I had literally put myself beyond where I should have gone. So in those moments, you will be able to do that. And I know you all can come out the other side and be a better person and still carry on being who you are. You don't have to abide by social norms because social norms are for the norm, for the boring. You are you, you're the individual, the only you, and you are the one that shines brightest. So I'm going to leave you with that. Everybody, I can't do the heart, but... I can't really do the heart, but... Shine bright, shine on, and keep on rocking.